Good morning, happy Sunday morning. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, this is a view from our bedroom. Uh, we've all got a transcribe in the office. So it's beautiful blue sky. What a storm we had up here the last couple of days. It took the top off the lighthouse. Um, one of the waves crashed into that. But anyway, what I'm going to share today is a little bit about Facebook and how a fantastic opportunity. It just doesn't, people just don't even look at posts where there's information there. It's life changing, which should be taught at school. But anyway, I'll just share the screen and then you can actually see what it's all about. So over over the last week, over the last week, I've shared quite a bit on all kinds of things from sunrises to all kinds of different things that's actually happening. Our other house in the country, a little blue tit on the webcam we'll have up there, checking out why I haven't been up to feed it, top up the nuts probably. Uh, this is a picture of the lighthouse getting its top took off. <laughs> um, so it's going to be out action for a while. This this the foam on the beach. Some of these, I think this one's had about um fifteen thousand views. A little picture as well with, with loads of comments. Uh, waves passing into the swimming pool. Uh, the dog. The heating coming on. Sunrise. Loads of comments. And then I put a post with just one like and no comments. But I've added some comments which I want to talk about in a second. So I just wanted to just let you have a look at this and sort of, because people just, it's and, and the list of priorities, it's right at the bottom of the pile. People just do not get it or understand it about building up a pension pot. Now, I'm not talking about pensions because they're boring. I'm talking about something much more exciting. But just to give you an idea, if somebody didn't know what we know, this is probably the plan they'd be actually working through from the, late, the, the day they leave school to the day they retire. And it's estimated at the minute people aged between 25 and 34 have got a pension pot of 18,000 pounds. Now, um, nearly three in 10 have at least two pensions, but there's also a lot haven't got a pension because what, what's happening is the, the mortgage rates have gone through the roof, the rents have gone through the roof. So, you know, the first thing it's going to get cut back is putting into the pension. So if 35 to 44, it should have a pension pot of 37,000. 45 to 54, a pension pot of 77,000. And for 55 plus, not yet retired, because you can retire with a pension pot at 55, you should have 110,000, 101,000 in the pension pot. Now, this is really boring stuff, like, but honestly, there's probably not many people even got that in the pension pot, but that kind of pension it's going to produce you next to nothing. It's not even worth having, really. It's better than nothing, I suppose, but um, it's it's nothing else to happen. The self-employed, three and ten, no pension at all. So you need something to build up a pension pot, and that's what I'm going to show you in a second. But I'll put these in the comments, some comments here. First of all, if you don't know my story, I've been involved in this industry for over 30 or 35 years or something like that now. Uh, but when I joined, it was with a catalogue company. That's all we actually had. So if you dropped off a catalogue at somebody's house, you would get orders. About one or two houses out of 10 would buy, which you think's not a lot, but there's so many houses out there, you can build a good customer base. And what would happen if you go back, people would either order than every catalogue or every other catalogue, which was great, because so you could build up an a, a income by, by, by just dropping catalogues, picking them up and delivering the orders. Now, when, when I joined what we're joining now, the reason I joined is because of, of the online side of the opportunity. It still has a catalog, so that still works. But online is just getting so big now. Everything's online. And all the people who said they would never do online when the, the COVID virus locked everybody down, the forced into going to do online shopping, found how easy it was, and now they, they carry on. That's why you see so many shops on the high street shutting down, because how can you compete with somebody just clicking the button and the order turns up? So... This is the first bit of getting a, a residual income without uh, which you get paid for over and over again. So this is just some example of some orders I've, I've picked up online in the last couple of weeks. Um, so the first one was a new person. So they've paid a 33 BP. So we'll just call it, it's, it's more than this. Say we'll say it's 35 pound order. So I'm, I'm going to get 30% of that. Now this one was at say a 25 pound order. And it's a repeat one from catalog 11. So the joining catalog 11. So that's repeat. They've come back, I get 30% of that. 
This one's from 2022, catalog five, 67, which is say 70 quid, get 30% of that one. This is a new one, so we'll say 35 quid, I'll get 30% of this one. This one from catalog 14, 100 BP, so just say it's 110 quid or something, so I'm going to get about 30% of that's 35 quid or something. This one's from catalog 10, 25, a bonus point, say 28 quid or something, 30% of that. And this one's 15 uh, from catalog 12. So this is repeat business. I found a customer and they're repeating on it. Now that's pretty exciting just to do it by yourself. And it's probably, I'll probably make more just of these than I would if I had a pension pot of a hundred thousand pounds. Um, so that makes sense to do, do that. So I'll just kind of just come down the curtain. But it doesn't stop there because what you've got is you've got the potential, not just you, you can actually find other people to teach them to do exactly the same. So there's you, you find six of your friends to do this. So they get stuck in, takes, they start learning the skills. I've got to say, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a while to build this up. So if it takes five years to build a good customer base and team members, it's much easier than trying to build a pension pot uh, with no, when you've got no extra money to put into the pension pot. And then the growth of it could be terrible. And personally, I think we're here and we're going to see a big crash in the stock market because there's so many things just not right in the world. I mean, if you've been following China, the amount of housing problems they've got over there, they've got nearly, a, a, they say nearly a billion uh, empty, unfinished houses and nobody wants to buy and the housing market's crashing. But, and then you've got America and all the oil problems and the wars and everything else. So very unstable time. But if you're building a residual income, then you're laughing because that income's going to carry on. So the fact of the six people you've got to join, they like the idea and they thought, well, I'll go and get some as well. So each of them just find four and each of them four find two, and that's your team actually growing. Now, you're more than likely to not know any of these people at all. That's It's absolutely amazing. So just click on to the next one. I've got to come back and show you this in a second. So when I joined, it was just the UK and Ireland, and I'll show you a check in a second what we got from what we are doing beforehand. So... That was just the UK and Ireland. So that's all we did before. That's all we ever had to play with. We had a little bit of trip into Europe, but then it came back again. So it didn't ever, ever expand very, very far. Now, I was happy just to play with the UK and Ireland. But now we've got all these different countries to play with. And some of them aren't operational at the minute, like Russia and Ukraine and other countries. And uh, China hasn't come on stream yet. But all the, all, most of these other countries have actually come on stream. We actually have Germany as well, which joined just before Christmas last year. So that's a brand new country. Uh, we've got France, Italy coming into the pipeline as well. Uh, Portugal shown on there. That wasn't open to us, but it just opened to us last week. So we've now got Portugal to play with as well. Uh, Thailand's coming on stream very soon. Italy's coming on stream. France is coming on very soon. America, Canada's coming on stream, and you might think, well, how, how are they going to build a warehouse to co cover all that? Well, it's it's quite easy because at the minute, our warehouse in Poland, which is over here somewhere, they supply the whole of Europe. So that's done from one warehouse, and it works amazing. Out the stocks is virtually nil. It's so well run, it's absolutely amazing. Now, on the, on the on to, for opening up America and Canada, um, Mexico is where the big warehouse is, and that supplies all of South America. Um, so that's 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 all already covered fantastically. So the warehouse are just going to into, expand into America, into Canada, just like it does in the U UK, is supplied from Poland. So that's absolutely amazing. So just come back out of it again. Go back to the last one. So to get your head around how big building the team can actually produce, this is what we did from the last company or over about 20, no, it was only 2017 there, maybe 22 years, 23 years, 6.8 million was our total income for that. Now that was just the UK and Ireland. So if you think about that, if you think about that, what we, we built and had some People became millionaires out of the team. Quite a few people became millionaires out, out of the team. And if you've got all these other countries to play with, which is huge, 
what still can do as a, as a catalogue business if you want to do that, but you've got one and two houses by out of 10 out of catalogues on the doorstep, which is fine. But what happens the other eight and nine out of 10 that don't buy on the doorstep, but love online shopping? It's a huge opportunity. So if you've got any questions about that, just uh, Bob has a message. I'll just stop sharing the screen, screen for a second. If you've got any questions about that, just come back to us. But if you can see what I can see here, uh, you could just, if you don't want to make massive money, fine. You can just build yourself an online customer, an offline customer base, and you've got an extra income coming in. They might just want to pay for a new washing machine or a new house or uh, just new appliance for the house or uh, put money aside for an extra holiday. That's fine. But if you want to go and build a huge opportunity, you can because it's 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 there to be done. And we haven't just got a few products. We've got something like 1,600 products. And there's offers all the time. They, they, they do amazing offers. At the minute, there's 50% off makeup for a few days. And the products are actually just the same as the high street, but they're amazing. And we've got some amazing wellness products. I've never been ill for nearly five and a half years now. And I was ill before that. So if you're looking for something, if you're thinking, you're not, well, obviously when I put that post about pensions, nobody's interested. They couldn't care. Couldn't give a toot about it. You know, they're not interested. But you should be looking for a way to have an income coming in if you're working or not. Because if you take ill, you've had it. You know, nobody's going to, nobody's going to like give you an extra 500 pounds because you're ill. If this just doesn't happen, you know, so nobody's going to help you out. So you've got to have a, a nest egg building up in the background and a residual income, and that's what we've got. So if you've got any questions, just come back to us. Uh, it's a fantastic day of time, so I hope you're having a great time. I'll keep doing updates. Uh, have a little watch. Give it a like. Any questions, just...